Hey everybody, welcome to the 2023 Las Vegas F1 Grand Prix. There is the start line. The race is gonna start in about five or so hours. I am sitting here in the West Harmon zone, put on by Heineken and Chrome. There is no one here yet. This is about to be filled with 10,000 people and um, it's gonna be pretty awesome. Come along with me on an adventure to the inaugural F1 Grand Prix in Las Vegas. I was really lucky to get a call to work for my friend Evan's company doing some photos for part of the evening and then I was free to wander around. To avoid the craziness of parking, I got down there just before sunset and I had some time to walk around while I was still empty. My badge got me into the West Harmon zone as well as the South Cobol zone, but somehow I managed to also get into a few of the other zones. So this is East Harmon right here and I was having a blast before they even opened the doors. Of course, I had to do my traditional selfie photos and then as I waited for the doors to open at 6 p.m., I started diving into the short rib grilled cheese sandwiches, checked out the ice sculptures, and then dove into the deep fried PB&J as well as the s'mores churros. I wandered around checking out all the activations, watched the parade, then I headed back over to the East Harmon Zone where it was completely empty earlier to try and catch the beginning of the race at 10 p.m. And they're off. You know, I didn't expect that watching the race would be very interesting, but it only took about two minutes for each lap that they did. So in between laps, I would wander around to all different viewing points throughout the F1 track. I know us locals weren't happy with the inconvenience and traffic, but it was such an exciting and fun event. I can't wait for next year.